hold on a minute, guys. I love Miss Dior perfume. It's one of my favorite fragrances. That's always been a favorite of mine and it was my signature scent, um, but a while ago. So the version that we have today, it's modern, it's fresh, airy and light. And today we have a new fragrance to add to my collection. Of course, when I saw this beautiful bottle on the display, I knew I had to own it. And there's many reasons why I wanted to own this fragrance. The first reason is because it's Miss Dior, of course, it's a rose essence, but then also it's because this may just be Francois de Marchi's last perfume. So for me, this is a bit more sentimental. I love his creations and I do want to own something of his just before he leaves the house of Dior. As you know, it's wrapped with beautiful ribbon, um, but I'm going to actually unbox this right with you guys and smell it. So I did try this perfume in store and I tried it on my skin and on a card. But that was about a week ago. So um, I'm so excited to open this up now with you guys. So let's open it. The beautiful gift wrapping. You've got the tissue and then inside is your fragrance. So this is really stunning guys. Here she is. So this is my Miss Dior Rose Essence and look at the packaging guys, it's so beautiful. So I was in Dior and they were discussing the story behind this beautiful perfume and how it's made and this is actually limited edition. I immediately, you guys know, I fell in love with the story alone and this perfume is based on beautiful flowers, so the roses that are in bloom for that period. And as you know, each rose is extremely unique depending on the year, the season and the time. So this here is a collection of all the flowers harvested in 2021, so last year's bloom. And there are all the petals that's been distilled and the fragrance has been collected to create this very delicate, sweet rose essence. And I just had to have it. I think this is something they'll be doing every year. So this is the 2021 and then hopefully next year we'll get the 2022 for all the beautiful roses that were in bloom of this year. So let's open up this box. I love the colour, it's a beautiful blush pink, it's very soft, it's like a delicate rosy pink colour. And let's just open this up. I was not expecting this release, I don't know how, I didn't know anything about this new perfume. Um, coming out and I'm normally on Dior's website. I don't know how I missed this one um, But I'm so happy I picked it up now if you look very close on the packaging It's very clear to see that this packaging is actually created from compressed rose petals And you can see all the little petals inside They've used it to create the box, which I think is really nice. Now, hold on a minute guys Oh my god, it was so cool Wow, okay, so the actual packaging smells like roses. It smells like rose petals. How unique, wow. That's really special, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up for you. There's a small tab just on the side here, if you can see that there. I'm just gonna peel it back. Guys, this is so beautiful. I think this is really special as a limited edition and as a collector's piece. You've got this little booklet inside just there, and if you remove it, it reveals a beautiful perfume. How stunning is this bottle, guys? It's so beautiful, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> Let me show you. So there's our fragrance, oh my gosh. So I have the rose essence here, and this is so beautiful. Delicate, delicate bottle. Really delicate and pretty. There was a time in grass when the fields of flowers stretched as far as the eye could see. Centifolia rose, jasmine tube rose and many others filled the air with their delicious scent and secretly perfumed the water that ran through the fields with their powerful fragrance. These have got this really, really cute book here. It tells you about the floral waters, it tells you about the rare roses that they have and when it comes into bloom. And 
and it's really nice. Beautifully illustrated. Here it says, rose to the last drop. Oh, it's really pretty. So it talks about the packaging as well as the bottle. So it says, our responsible commitment extends to the fragrance packaging. Incredibly fine glass bottle made with 25% recycled glass, which you can feel. So this bottle is in a case infused with rose petals, so nothing is lost from its production. So the actual petals they use for the rose water, they crush the petals to create this beautiful packaging. Isn't that really nice? I quite like that. So let's talk about the fragrance. I have it here now, guys. So I'm gonna spray a little bit on my hands here so you guys can see. Can you see that there? Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh wow, this is so nice. It smells so different now that I'm at home because I did try this perfume on in store and of course you're always overwhelmed with all the different fragrances floating through the air so I can really pick it up now. This is a rose perfume. It's light and it's delicate. I love the opening. The opening was quite a nice surprise. So let's talk about the notes of this fragrance. This Dior Rose Essence opens up with geranium and green notes. In the heart, we have grass rose. Then in the base, we have gayak woods, musk, patchouli, and vetiver. This is really beautiful. This is really soft and pretty. It's delicate. This is a true floral perfume. It does have a light essence to it. It's very soft. This has a very sweet petal note, but I have to say I really enjoy the opening of this fragrance. I feel like I can pick up more of the base notes. I get this woody mask with geranium and rose, and there's patchouli in here, but I can't detect any patchouli. Okay, it's really soft, it's really pleasant. I'd have to be a fan of rose because this is a true rose perfume. It does have this airy, light, fluffy feel to the perfume. And this is a scent I would wear in the daytime if I want something very light and delicate. This perfume is limited edition, it's available in one size, it's a 100ml bottle, and this is a EDT, it's an eau de toilette. It's a very light formula, but this does smell like rose water. Sweet, gentle, there's a sweetness to this perfume that I really like. It's not gourmand sweet, it's a delicate rose sweet that I really do like. It's so nice. I'm going to spray some more. This is really pretty. This is going to be a perfect... Let me see if I get that to focus there. Oh, and that's really pretty. This is really nice, but I feel like I'm detecting a little bit of citrus in there. In the opening, I feel like I get a little hit of lemon, only very slightly. It adds like a nice freshness. And then I'm getting the musk... Oh, it's really pretty, guys. I really love this. This is going to be a really nice daytime scent. It's really special. And this may just be the last fragrance from Francois de Marchi. And I had to own his last creation for Miss Dior. So the bottle itself, you can feel it's so much lighter. And it's a thin glass. And there's no paper here as well. You just have Miss Dior embossed onto the actual glass bottle. So that's really nice have a very fine ribbon tied around the neck of the bottle and on the side you have the hound's tooth as well. I'm going to talk about longevity. I only wore this fragrance when I tried it in store so I'm gonna to have to update you guys in terms of longevity but when I tried it on my skin I just sprayed very slightly and I got maybe three hours wear. So now I own the bottle let me test it out and I'll update you guys but so far oh it's got this like powdery it's almost a powdery soapy dry down as well. It's very clean, it's soft, it's a gentle perfume. It has a sweetness to it, but to me on my skin, it transforms more into a soft musk, a rosy musk perfume. And this fragrance retails for 136 pounds and this is exclusive to Harrods here in London. So have a look out for this. I did look in Selfridges for this perfume, but um, it's exclusive only to Harris. If you're in London, pop over there and check out this fragrance. You have to give it a try and let me know what you think.
this is going to be such a piece where you're going to have to take care of the bottle. I don't think it's fragile, but it's much lighter than the other creations. And if you look, you can see the liquid fills the entire bottle. Normally you will find that the perfume is encased in a thick glass going all the way around. Here it's much thinner. Now, the question is, is it worth buying? Should you buy it? And how does it compare? Now, I think this is a fragrance, if my honest opinion is that this is a light fragrance. It's a perfume that you are probably going to enjoy yourself. It's not going to radiate very far, but I think someone coming up close to you should be able to smell it. So my honest opinion is, if you are looking for a fragrance from Francois de Marchi, if you want something that is a collectible and you're really into perfumes and you're a huge fan of Miss Dior like myself, then I would say definitely yes, I would buy this. It doesn't smell like any of the other fragrances. It is a floral perfume. It is rose, so you will find something very similar amongst the other fragrances, but it's nothing like the other flankers. In my opinion, this is a delicate, soft rose with notes of powder, geranium, and it's a little bit green. I get a little burst of lemon in the opening. If you're looking for a fragrance that is powerful, bold, and striking, this may not be the fragrance for you because it's very delicate and light. If you're looking for a very gentle skin scent, then yes, I would go for this one. I'm going to compare my rose essence with other famous Rose Dior perfumes. So we have Miss Dior Rose and Roses, and we have Le Col Noir. There's something feminine about this perfume that no matter the age, if you are elegant 50 year old lady, or a young 18 year old girl, this will bring out and draw that femininity in you. And I just think this is so stunning. I just think this is lovely. Really nice floral. This is strong. This is very, very strong in comparison. You get immediately a burst of this powdery, violety rose. Really stunning, this one. Le Col Noir is a burst of fruits and sweetness. You have black currant, lemon in the opening. And then in the heart, you have rose, you have peach, raspberry. In the base, you have musk, sandalwood, and honey. So you're getting sweetness from the honey, sweetness from the fruit. And this is extremely different to our new limited edition rose essence. So if you own Le Col Noir, you can definitely pick up the rose essence. Now, my Le Col Noir, in terms of longevity, like I said, I haven't really tested this perfume out as yet, so I'm gonna have to update you, but Le Col Noir, I normally receive under four hours in this perfume. It's really sweet and pretty, floral, it's a daytime scent. We have my Mistier Rose and Roses, and when I compare the two together, I would say my Mistier Rose and Roses is a lot stronger it's a powerful rosy scent. It has an opening of bergamot and there's also some musk in the dry down of this perfume. We have geranium in this fragrance as we do in our new rose essence. But this one is bold. I think the rose in here really stands out in a powdery form with the musk. And this one here it smells like a transparent sweet sugared rose water that's how i would describe this one if you own rose and roses then i think you can add the misty or rose essence to your collection but the bottles are extremely similar and i remembered when i discovered this in harrods i thought this was the new rose and rose perfume can i just demonstrate something really quickly so you can see the borders here of the fragrance is sort of lined with a thick glass to protect the fragrance as well. You can see it's quite thick here at the base. This one here is just a very thin glass. I just wanted to point that out to you. So you do feel the difference in weight. However, I do have 150 ml, five ounce bottle here. And this here, I do have 100 ml. I do have one last fragrance for you. Another famous Dior perfume is one of my loves, guys. My Gris Dior. I thought I would mention it. It's not your typical rose fragrance in comparison to the three that I mentioned. Those three have more of a similar fragrance style, whereas my Gris Dior is a striking rose patchouli bergamot 
Chic Cristal fragrance. And I thought I would just mention it seeing as I love Dior <laughs> and it's another rose perfume. This is patchouli, this is oak moss, this is powerful and strong. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so nice. It has a vintage vibe to it. Whereas this one here, the patchouli, is nothing in comparison to this perfume here. My Gridior is patchouli and oak moss. The patchouli you receive in Rose Essence is so soft, it's so light. So I think this is going to cater to most people. If they love this perfume, you should be fine with this one here. It's a very different patchouli, guys. Don't be scared of that patchouli. Really pretty. So my darlings, let me know what you think of this perfume. Will you be adding Miss Dior Rose Essence to your collection? Let me know, I would love to know. And also, are you a fan of Miss Dior? Let me know down below in the comment section below. I have so many videos all about Miss Dior dedicated to this perfume. And I'm going to have to update my whole collection. So keep an eye out for that video. I'm gonna start filming that pretty soon and share with you my entire Miss Dior collection. So my darlings, if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section below. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. So have a lovely day, my darlings. Bye.